All right, Remy, thank you for asking about the business systems technology that I recommend. And let's talk through these different things, websites, scheduling, payment processor, et cetera. Right now you're using Squarespace, which is highly popular. Um, and you're not super happy with the user interface. I agree. I've tried Squarespace several times. And even though they have great designs, I never, I'm always baffled by how come they make their user interface so small to update certain things. And it's just not, it's just not pleasant to use. Um, it's, it's a little bit techy, uh, which is surprising to me because Squarespace is so popular with the masses. I guess people just kind of suck it up and, and deal with the weird user interface to have the nice designs. Um, alter, al, an alternative that uh, you know to Squarespace to look into is Wix.com, of course, also very popular. I also think it's kind of a pain in the butt to use because it's, it's a little bit too much to do. It's not you know streamlined enough, in my opinion. And then... Um, one that I actually have, I haven't tried myself, but I've seen clients try it and they seem to have good experience with it, um, including uh, Moitza here. Thank you for, for mentioning it. Strikingly, uh, strikingly.com. I think it is strikingly.com. Just double check here. Yep, that's the one. And uh, so uh, Moitza mentions that uh, been using it for four years. I heard about it from Seth Godin and still enjoys using it. You know, the user interface is pleasant. I agree. I, I sort of helped my wife set up a strikingly website. I, I didn't, I mean, she was doing most of the work. I was kind of looking over her shoulder and seemed, it seemed pretty easy to use. So definitely would, would recommend strikingly as an, as a possible option. Now, um, what, uh, of course, WordPress is, is the, you know, dominant player in the web hosting spit web uh, platform space. And, I've always been annoyed by WordPress because of all the complications that come with it in terms of security and plugins and, and the compatibility of plugins. And I just feel like it's a really clunky overall ecosystem to use. Yes, it has tons and tons of support. Obviously, if you uh, have the budget to pay for a WordPress person, developer, webmaster to work with you, then maybe that's great because it's very flexible. But as a solopreneur, um, most of us are who are here and watching this, uh, WordPress is just a pain in the butt, um, in my opinion. So I, if I were just to pick uh, a, a low cost um, web platform, I would probably just go with Strikingly today. Um, now, having said that, what do I use right now? Well, I just went away for, I, I, I used Weebly for like 12 years, you know, for the vast majority of the lifetime of my business, building my business all it's been has been Weebly. But Weebly was bought by Square a couple of years ago and their development completely stopped. It's so disappointing. They stopped innovating at all. So I just recently went away from Weebly. I couldn't wait to do it. I finally did. And I'm happy now to be with Simplero. Now um I I have a whole uh <laughs> I have a whole uh um Let's see, uh, a whole blog post about why I chose Simplero. Uh, it's not cheap. Um, so those of you who are interested in, um, I think the www will work. Um, I got to do my own domain name at some point. But let me see if this works. Yeah, it goes to my Facebook post where I analyze Simplero versus um, Kajabi, Zendler, Kartra, Podia. Podia is another up and coming one. That's really easy to make a website and course, course platform. Uh, so Podia is, you know, kind of worth looking into as something that's really pleasant to use as well. But I did, an, I did analyze, um, all, all of these options and I, by far, uh, well, not by far it, the Simplero edged, edged out in several important areas. And now that I've been using Simplero very actively for four months, I love it. I'm Simplero for life now. Um, the, the, um, the team at Simplero is amazing. The founder, I feel like I personally know him now and I, I'm, I have made, uh, I have made probably 30 feature requests for Simplero and they've implemented like a dozen of mine uh, it's just in the last four months. It's really amazing. And I feel like I have a bit of an, <laughs> gratefully, a bit of an end to the founder because I can like tweet him personally and he replies back to me. And and so I feel like, um, and, anyway, I, I have high, high hopes for, for Simplero's future. And Simplero basically integrates everything for me, integrates website, um, mailing list, uh, course platform, affiliate software and um, a CRM, you know, contact client database and all the stuff. Instead of a spreadsheet, I'm now using Simplero to track all my client stuff. So it, it, the only thing Simplero doesn't have is scheduling. So we, sh we should talk about that next. Now, the reason why I'm not just openly recommending Simplero to everyone and why am I saying strikingly? 
is because some player is not cheap. Uh, I don't know what the striking league price is, but you can look it up. It's going to be much cheaper than Simplero. Simplero, right now, what I'm paying, I mean, Simplero is cheap as it's like 70 bucks a month, something like that. Gives you a website and and, and, and one single course. Um, you can't make more, you can't make one than one course at that price point. And it jumps up to like 150 or something or 125, something like that per month. Anyway, you could check out some players' price at this point and see what it is. Reason why I have found it so incredibly worthwhile is because I sell multiple courses and everything, everything is integrated. I can I can look at one screen to see you, what activity you've done in my courses, uh, what emails you've opened from me, what emails you've clicked, what things you've bought from me, all of the client notes that you have. It's all on one screen and, and it's the finances, everything's integrated. It's amazing. I'm like, I can't believe I didn't go for it. I should have gone with Simplero probably in my second year of business. I wish I did because all that data would have been all integrated by, by this point. I had to stitch together PayPal, Stripe, you know, um, I was just going to say scheduling is again, something Simplero doesn't yet do, but I could use Zapier to connect the scheduling. Anyway, long story short, Simplero is um, not for someone who's like trying to save money, but it's for someone who's like looking to the future. I want to integrate everything. And it's, it's been so worthwhile. I wish I recommended it earlier and I wish I did it in my second year of business. So I feel like if you're making more than, I'm just going to say $1,000 a month or $2,000 a month, certainly, if you're making more than $2,000 a month in your business, I would highly recommend really looking into some player to say, all right, going forward, I know I'm going to make more than this going forward. If that's the plan, then it's going to just simplify everything for you. Um, so in terms of... Um, Oh, thank you. Mo Moitza mentioned in the chat, player, uh, sorry, strikingly right now, it's just $20 a month. It paid monthly. So I bet if annually, it's even less, right? So yeah, super, I mean, way lower cost than Simplero. Um, and, and in terms of the web website stuff, it's the, the few times I've used Square, uh, uh, WordPress for blogging, Simplero is just like that. They kind of built themselves on that kind of user interface model. And, and I think it's easier to use than WordPress. It's very, everything is very streamlined in Simplero. And every, they thought of everything like SEO stuff if you want to, but it's optional. You could do redirects easily. Everything's very, I just, I'm quite impressed, honestly. And I know software because I've been trying many different types of software for years. And I know what's frustrating and what's not. And Simplero is re remarkably pleasant to use. So um, scheduling, let's talk about this. Uh, Calendly is the current winner. Um, if I were starting over, I would use Calendly. Right now I'm using Acuity Scheduling and reason why I'm not no longer recommending Acuity Scheduling for people who are just starting out or people who are making that decision now, Acuity Scheduling was bought by another company, um, by Squarespace, ironically, right? Acuity Scheduling was bought by Squarespace. And um, ever since they bought them, the innovation has stopped. No longer, no, no more new features. It's this is this is the same thing with Mailchimp. I I I was on Mailchimp for twelve years. They were bought by Intuit. Innovation stopped, and by by the time I left Mailchimp, which is four months ago, even their even their freaking spell check was broken, and had been broken for six months, and they never fixed it. And and I'm like, this is you don't you guys no longer care, Mailchimp. You just don't care anymore. Because you 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 cashed out with with into it and you're, you moved on right, and this is what happens with 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 a lot of software companies. They're like they're so innovative when they're starting out. And by the way, this is what I asked the Simplero founder because Simplero is is not owned by a corporation or or a board of directors. It's owned by one guy. It's one guy. So that guy is nice or evil. It all depends, right? So I really I looked into this guy. Some of you, by the way, probably will disagree with his politics. His politics are, are not. Um, uh, you know, progressive, uh, good, good progressive people like like most of us here. But I feel like he really is very, um, he's very mindful. He's very, he's very caring of creators. And he's really dedicated. I say, hey, you're not selling out, right? Nope, I'm not. I'm dedicated to this thing. You know, and he didn't say for life. You know, everyone can make a decision. But anyway, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's important, right? Like deciding on software. Calendly, again, who knows, they might sell out in the future. Acuity has already sold out. Acuity is still fine. I'm not moving away from it because I'm so used to it now. But Calendly is, is a good option. Okay. Um, recurring payments. Uh, you know, the easiest way is just to go with PayPal. I know, big tech. Um, but it's very solid. Uh, I don't know Moonclerk. But if you like Moonclerk, go for it. Keep keep using it. 
but PayPal has makes it easy to create recurring payments. And uh, I don't know if Moonclerk has to go through PayPal anyway, or 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 if it does um, its own credit card processing. Um, it's Remy, a Stripe integration. Stripe integration, great, yeah, yeah. awesome. So, but yeah, so it, it's still you know whether you go with Stripe, you know, uh, has recurring payments too. It's not as obvious. It's not as easy to set up, um, but I, I've set up recurring payments for Stripe. It's not that it's not that hard either, by the way. That just directly through Stripe, you could create a subscription and blah blah blah. So it's it's doable. Um, PayPal though is a bit more streamlined. Moonclerk sounds good. Um, Listserv uh, mailing list. Um, I would not recommend Mailchimp anymore for the reasons I previously mentioned. If I were starting out and someone says, "All right, George, what would you choose now?" Instead of Simplero, because if I'm not ready to go with Simplero pricing wise, I would I would recommend uh, ConvertKit. That's sort of like the the rising star right now. Um, Con ConvertKit. Uh, I would have previously recommended um, MailerLite. Okay, but MailerLite just got bought out. <laughs> just got bought out by a bigger company. I'm not. I, I again, like I like I said, I don't I don't have high. But ConvertKit though, um, just got bought out. Uh, I would recommend, I recommend ConvertKit uh, because the founder, again, feels like they're th that person that he's really committed to creators. So I would recommend looking into them and ConvertKit has other features. I don't know much about it, but I know it has everyone I know who uses ConvertKit enjoys it. The only possible drawback I've heard is that someone told me when they moved from MailChimp to ConvertKit, their open rates dropped. And one possibility is that ConvertKit, maybe early on, maybe still now, I'm sure there are some you know kind of salesy marketers went with ConvertKit, and I imagine if they're doing salesy, you know, kind of uh, marketing, um, people people the the email list e email uh, email platforms like Gmail, you know, Yahoo Hotmail, that you know Apple, etc., probably. Uh, didn't find ConvertKit people as, re as as reputable, and so maybe the open rates. So I don't know. You, you, that's worth. I didn't do. I didn't research as recent, but it would not covert kit. <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, ConvertKit. I I I, I hate the name. Um, they tried to rebrand themselves uh, several years ago to Seva, try to be a more enlightened. But uh, people said that was cultural appropriation. So so they switched back to ConvertKit. Yeah, I know. It was such a. I think it was a much better name. I I, I was like, oh, I hope. No, they switch back to ConvertKit. So you might want to research uh, open rates for ConvertKit versus other things. So if it, if I didn't go with ConvertKit, obviously I use I use Simplero now for everything, including mailing list, and my open rates went up after I switched to Simplero from Mailchimp, which is really awesome. Um, so I would say ConvertKit, maybe MailerLite. Otherwise, um, I've also heard good things about as it was a is a flow flow something. Sorry, Flowdesk or Flow, someone. Uh, um, and there are some other ones out there that are smaller and probably are are, are just as fine. But you want to look at, you want to look at the open rates, kind of research open rates, click rates, or basically open rates. That's that's the the thing to look up. Um, okay, Remy, you had asked in the chat about Simplero's payment processing. Yeah, no, they they integrate perfectly with Stripe and PayPal and and, and other things. Uh, they have other ones I've never heard of. So Stripe and PayPal are the main ones. Yeah, and it, it works really well. And everything's everything's contained in this in the Simplero system with all the finances. So I'm really happy with that. Um, Google Docs for everything else. I agree. Now, uh, you know, I I also am a Google Docs, Google Sheets uh, person. Um, but these days, the cool kids are using Notion. So if you're if you're like still making that decision, I would recommend looking into Notion because. Those people who have switched to Notion love it. It just has such, such great reputation. Um, it's trying to replace Google, the, the Google Drive ecosystem, basically, and it's like makes you know makes it easier to create tables and, and even web pages. You know, with like with like um, what do you call it? web pages that have the bullet points that can collapse and 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 expand. That's really cool. Makes it easier to to, to do that. Simplero has has that option too. But anyway, Notion uh, is surprisingly flexible. Um, yeah, people, like I said, people are creating web pages with their Notion pages as well. And of course, they have databases that connect and tables and spreadsheets and uh, client notes and all, all, all that good stuff. So anyway, that's uh, 
I think that's that's probably good enough for this video. Any other follow-up questions from anybody here? Well, and those of you watching the video, if you have any other sort of tech that you absolutely love um, and want to recommend, go ahead and comment below. And uh, yeah, so I hope this helps and looking forward to the continuing discussion.